this person here had me kind of second guessing and i feel like that there is a good chance what's going on wrestling family welcome back to the channel it is royal rumble season so you know what time it is it's time to make our predictions for this year's royal rumble now before we get started go ahead hit that subscribe button help me on my goal to 10k subscribers we are right around the corner thank you guys so much for your support also before we get into the video i would like to invite you guys to join me and some friends in live streaming royal rumble this saturday this will be my first time live streaming anything so i'm a little nervous about it but we'll get through it but i'm joining forces with the flex zone podcast go to their youtube channel hit the subscribe button hit the bell next to it they do some really really good content they do wrestling football you name it they got it and i was invited by my guy one of my favorite youtubers kicking it with leo so go to his channel also subscribe to him say salute to him let him know hey we got you we want to help you out with your subscribers because i appreciate this so much i can't wait to get into this but let's get into the prediction so i'm going to say this list as i see it here it might not be in the right order but i'm gonna go by what i see so what they have listed here first is the united states championship match between logan paul who is the champion versus kevin owens now first and foremost i want to say this match is going to be fantastic right logan paul has been killing it ever since he came to wwe he's i can't even name a bad match with him being involved in it and his development as a wrestler has been nothing short of amazing this guy is definitely a natural and then kevin owens on the other end what can i say about kevin owens right i've been watching this guy since he was kevin steen like what made me a fan of this guy is to see his latter wars match with him and Sami Zayn, uh, El Generico at the time versus the Briscoe brothers, uh, RIP. Um, and it was a fantastic match. Even up until this point, this guy has been good and great and even better. So this match right here has no choice but to be fantastic. But I also believe based upon what we saw on SmackDown, that this match here is going to be absolutely brutal. And one of the most brutal matches that Logan Paul has ever had, which will add to his resume and make him look so good. But <laughs> in saying all of that, I know it's easy to pick Logan Paul in this, but I am going to go against the grain. I'm gonna go against my, my common sense, my mind and my heart, and I'm gonna pick Kevin Owens in this. And I have so many reasons to support him winning, even if some of them don't make sense, but I think it kind of does make sense in my head. So let me explain these things to you. For one, if you look at the landscape of the main roster of all the singles title holders, the only one that is a face is Seth Rollins. Think about it. You got Gunther, you got Rhea Ripley, you got EO Sky, you got uh, Logan Paul, you got Roman Reigns. Seth Rollins is the only face champion. I mean, even if you want to throw the tag team championships in there, they're heels, right? So I think giving it to Kevin Owens at this point would be an opportunity to kind of balance the scale a little bit when it comes to heel to face ratio when it comes to the championship. But also, if you look on the SmackDown side of everything, the two men champions are barely on TV. Logan Paul and Roman Reigns. And I understand that Logan Paul is on TV a lot more than Roman Reigns, but neither one of them are on TV as consistent as like a Seth Rollins. And I think if you give this to Kevin Owens, you get a champion that's on TV all the time. I don't think it's fair to have two champions on SmackDown kind of coming in and out whenever they want to kind of speak. Roman Reigns, obviously the worst offender of everything, but Logan Paul, you know, kind of doing that. And it relieves Logan Paul. He could take a break come back at WrestleMania, have a match without a title because he doesn't need need to have a match for a title and then still give us a good match. So I think that supports it. And also on top of that, if WWE is still trying to do something with Santos Escobar, I feel like they really missed the mark and ruined the momentum of him by not giving him the US championship. And they kind of feel like they, they, they kind of ripped up the possibility of the storyline leading up to the US championship. I feel like they did that, but if they're not done trying to do something with them, what better way to give him a feud for that title than against Kevin Owens, which will be great for both of these guys. Santos already has the personality and getting in the ring with Kevin Owens will make him look so great. And for him to finally get that US championship, that will be good to see as well. So again, at the end of the day, I'm picking Kevin Owens for this match. It's against my heart, it's against my mind, it's against all common sense, but that's what I'm picking. So the next match they have on here, I'm sure that this may not be <laughs> or this early in the show but this match is the undisputed wwe universal championship between roman reigns the champion versus randy orton versus la knight versus aj styles in a fatal four way match so i don't know if you guys saw my video that i did for the top three reasons that roman reigns is going to win this match and i'm going to reiterate it okay for one the, the stipulation it's no disqualifications which means that it gives an open door for the the, the bloodline to get involved which they're going to get involved anyways but now they can just do whatever they want 
right? They could just come in. Number two, the feud between AJ Styles and LA Knight, it, it's on site for these guys. Every time they see each other, they just trying to squabble. They always trying to shoot the fade. So I think they're just going to cancel each other out, cost each other the match. They're going to blame each other and then they'll continue the feud down the line, which will be great for, a for LA Knight in the ring and great for AJ Styles on the mic. So I think it's an even trade and a way we can get a great feud, something that we've all been waiting for for LA Knight. Now with Randy Orton, I feel like that by him trying to be the person to be the voice of reason, like, hey, Roman Reigns is the issue. We're not the issue. Paul Heyman's tricks won't work on me. I think they're going to realize that they can't manipulate this guy. And the bloodline will target Randy Orton after he probably gives Roman Reigns an RKO. Gives the fans an idea that, that, that Randy Orton is definitely going to win that championship belt. Because the fans were cheering, right? On SmackDown, in Georgia, in front of AJ Styles' face, his hometown was cheering for Randy Orton. So they want Randy Orton to win that title. And WWE is just going to take that and use it and find a way to give uh, Roman Reigns more heel heat. Now, the only way that I can think of where Roman Reigns may lose this title in this match is let's say the bloodline comes out and then the OC comes out to help AJ Styles and kind of fight them off, right? Because Paul Heyman is not going to fight me, Jen, okay? But then you, you you got the other two members of the OC uh, kind of, you know, chasing off Solo Sokol and, and Jimmy Uso. But then I think that I still think that the bloodline is going to attack Randy Orton. Randy Orton already got an issue with them, so that's just going to continue that beef. But at the end of the day, Roman Reigns is going to retain. I can't see him losing his title before WrestleMania. And I don't think it makes any sense at all, right? Unless there's something going on behind the scenes, maybe health-wise, that we don't know about. But outside of that, it's definitely going to be Roman Reigns. And Roman Reigns is RR just like Royal Rumble. I mean, you know, it is what it is, all right? So let's get into the Royal Rumble match, all right? We're going to start off with the ladies. So with the ladies, I'm going to say who I think is going to be some surprise guests, right? For one, I think AJ Lee, which everybody agrees on. CM Punk is there. Why wouldn't she show up? That doesn't mean that she's absolutely going to be there, but it'll be great. I'm a big fan of AJ Lee. I think Naomi is going to show up because she already ended her run at uh, TNA, right? She already said her goodbyes and everything, so there's no reason for her not to be there unless she's going over to stardom or something like that, which I kind of don't see happening. It's a possibility. But someone like Molly Holly, I definitely think is going to be there. She seems to be always at all these ladies events, but it'll be absolutely amazing to see Liv Morgan show up. It'll be great to see that. It'll be great to see Alexa Bliss come back. Um, and I can't think of any other women that should show up that are, are, are big, right? Maybe Lita or something like that. I can't think of anyone else, but those are the main ones I would love to see. If they can get Julia to come at that Royal Rumble, that will be that will be dope to see as well. But those are the ones I can only think of. Now, as far as the match itself, I'm going to say pretty much what everybody else is thinking. I think Bailey is definitely going to win this. It makes sense for the storyline. I did a video where I kind of fantasy booked the entire thing. So I think that that's going to happen. But this person here had me kind of second guessing because Triple H has been doing some weird stuff lately. He's been kind of swerving us and coming out with these surprises and tricking us. And I feel like that there is a good chance that Dakota Kai would could win this, right? Because I think she's 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 already had an injury that put her out for months. But I think at this point in time now, she should be good for in-ring action. I think, and, and if that is the case, I, I did a video call, you cannot trust Dakota Kai, go ahead and check that out. Now, this will be different than what I said in that video, but to just to throw us off, I wouldn't be surprised if Dakota Kai wins that. It, I, I would not be surprised at all. That'll be interesting, but I don't see Becky Lynch winning this or anyone else. And, oh, and the another person I think could actually show up, Jay Cargill. I think she'll be another person to show up. So now for the men's Royal Rumble match, okay? So obviously Brock Lesnar is confirmed as a, as a guest. I know he's all wrapped up in this whole thing with Vince McMahon, but who knows? I feel like they're going to find a way for him to show up, especially if it's just allegations. I don't know. I wasn't there, so I can't defend them in, and I'm not going to try to. It's not, not my business, all right? That's his business. But the people I think are actually going to show up at Royal Rumble, Sami Zayn for one. I think for sure Sami Zayn is going to show up. But the other people that may show up, I feel like that maybe Andrade Sayonamas will show up. For some reason, it's weird. I feel like, I don't know why, I feel like Tigeria is going to show up. Abyss may show up. That would be cool to see Abyss show up, especially nowadays with the whole TNA stuff happening. Um, but the only person I, I would love to really see is Big E return. I know he's not in the place to wrestle. That's the person I would definitely love to see. But for sure, I know for a fact that Sami Zayn will be there. And it will be cool to see Okada show up because of all the rumors going around that he may join WWE. But at the end of the day, I think it's going to be what everybody else says. CM Punk is definitely going to win this. Uh, it's going to be fantastic. 
doesn't matter what Gunther said to, to Seth on Raw. He's going to get thrown out by Brock Lesnar if he does show up. And that's going to have them have their match at WrestleMania, which is going to be a really good match pending whatever's going on with this weird case. I don't know what's wrong with these guys nowadays. Everybody, you know, doing whatever. You know, I know these are all allegations, but I don't know what's happening nowadays. OK, that's that, that's on them. But at the end of the day, I have him winning it. So just to kind of recap everything I said, I have Kevin Owens winning. Um, I have uh, Roman Reigns winning. I have Bailey winning and a close second. I have Dakota Kai. And then secondly, I have CM Punk winning that match for the men's Royal Rumble. I don't think there's no swerving involved in that one. I think it's definitely going to be CM Punk. But anyways, what do you guys think? Let me know what your predictions are in the comment section. I appreciate each and every one of you guys. Salute. Peace. Have a good day. Don't forget Saturday live stream on the Flex Zone podcast. I'm going to leave the link in the description. Go over there. Hit the channel up, hit the subscribe button, hit the bell next to you. I'm going to post when we're about to go up on my community tab as well. Okay, so stay tuned to that. If you don't show up, all right, well, stay a hater. Be lame. Okay, no, I'm so But go ahead and hit the subscribe button. I'll see you guys over there. I thank you guys for your support. Even if you don't show up, I appreciate your support. Thank you so much. Salute. Peace. Have a good day.